It's quite simple. In the box, you get the grab grip, a counterweight, and a screw thread to action camera mount. But also you get a little quick start guide with a QR code on it, which is actually very nice because there's a video that shows just how to set it up and some tips and tricks. And they also show you how to set it up with your phone if you're gonna use your phone. Grab Grip does have their own extension pull, which has really easy loosening and tightening mechanisms. There is a screw thread mount at the bottom so you can extend it out even further, but it does come with this little screw thread, carabiner and wrist strap, which is quite handy. So when you get it mounted on, your GoPro sits like this. Yeah, upside down. And your GoPro will automatically flip the image unless you have orientation lock on. But the point of this is it's basically like a horizontal lock. But also when you wanna get a more cinematic shot, like a reveal or something like that, you do that pan up and it looks so good. And lifting this up to get those like drone looking shots, it looks so good. And then you just bring it down and it just stays level. And one thing you might be wondering right now is, can't I just achieve that with a normal selfie stick? And the answer is no. When you go in with a normal selfie stick and you're panning up, you actually just end up pointing at the sky where the grab grip will actually keep it level. And also with this counterweight where you put it up or down, you can actually adjust how fast of a motion you wanna get. And for me, this might sound a bit silly, but I was having so much fun with it. And it was just like, I was getting these creative shots and just really enjoying it. And you know a product is really good when you get shots and you actually have to watch them back immediately. And yes, I have reviewed gimbals on this channel before, and this is not really a gimbal replacement. I do notice that it keeps it a lot more steady versus like using a regular selfie stick. But I just love that you can get really creative shots with this and you don't have to deal with, you know, batteries and controllers and motors and all that stuff. It's just really nice to have on there. So there you go. I actually rate this really high up on like a must have for the GoPro just because you'll have a lot of fun with this.